Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to put in the power supply. No, actually, we're going to go and put in the hard disk drive because uh, I fear we may be getting uh, into a bit of uh, to, uh, some space related issues. So, let's go ahead. This is a Seagate Barracuda 320 gigabyte drive. We're just going to Put that in, and yeah, it's kind of a tight fit already. Okay, it does work. Okay, so that goes in like that. Whew, oh, how am I gonna? How am I gonna put the power supply connector in now? Well, I guess. <laughs> I guess we'll uh, have to go and put in the power supply first. Never mind. There it is. This actually is the power supply out of that old median computer. This uh, is a nice FSP uh, brand power supply, so that should be pretty, pretty good. And it is a uh, what is that? It is a 400 watt supply, so it should have plenty of power for this application, I'm sure. Let's just go ahead and uh, pop that in and uh, get all the screws put in. Right, I got all the screws in place and let's see if we can uh, get this, uh, oh I don't know, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> well I guess this cable tie has to go. These things are just getting too short in here, kind of wisely. See if we can uh, organize this all a little bit. Get things to go out of the way. Like so, and like so. Okay. Right. So we need the motherboard connector. That obviously goes into the huge great big connector right there. And let's see. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not looking good. That's not looking good. Well, we do have. Hmm. Hmm. What am I supposed to do about that? We do have one of these uh, six pin connectors and a four pin connector. However, we need two four pin connectors. Let me just see if this. Uh, it does fit right there, so that's good. Let's see. Can I somehow get this to fit into there? Uh, well, maybe with a lot of force, but I don't want to force anything. Oh dear, I guess we won't be able to use this thing. Because it's too old. So, I'll take that out again. And attempt number two, I now have the HP power supply out of the HP computer, and it does say HP on there. It's only 300 watts in total, but that should be enough still. Uh, of course, uh, who knows who actually made this? I certainly don't, so it's probably not the uh, highest quality kind of thing. It's definitely uh, not as heavy as the... Uh, Fortron Source FSP brand that uh, I just tried. Instead of having a real power switch on there, it just has a weird green standby LED that uh, is just always on. Anyway, let's screw this in and see if we can get this one hooked up. Okay, all the screws are in place, and uh, well, of course, we should have all the connections in here that we need. Oh yes, that is going to work, obviously. This is the motherboard the power supply came with, or vice versa. Uh, I do notice another problem. We only have we only have uh, SATA connectors on this. This is kind of stupid, because uh, I do need another one. Anyway, we're going to see if it manages to work without. But uh, Okay, there it is. Power supply is in place. Let's see if we can... Uh, still somehow managed to squeeze in the uh, hard disk drive. We uh, push this out of the way a little bit. Should be able to get 
this in. Oh yes, okay, that was easy. And there we have the hard disk drive in place. As I said, 320 gigabytes is not too much, but it should be enough for an operating system and, well, for everything else, you can just use an external hard disk drive. That shouldn't be much of a problem. Let's see if uh, one of these uh, super ridiculously short SATA connectors is enough to get this hooked up. Let me uh, first get uh, the SATA hooked up to this, like so. It's all quite straightforward, I have to say. Okay, which one is SATA 1? That's that one right there. Uh, I think it doesn't matter which, uh, which number you plug into what. But, uh, yeah, that's looking quite neat, I have to say. <laughs> Just a short cable, no cable management required. This is, uh, this is an LG Super Multi Drive DVD burner. That came out of the median computer, so let's just pop that in here, or, well, yeah, I'm going to put it in there, should be good. So, let's see if we can, uh, yep, get that lined up, and screw it in. The CD-ROM drive has been screwed in place, and I just remembered, I actually have another one. This is a Super Write Master, made by Samsung. Ugh. But um, I do have uh, a blank slot in the front, and I don't have a cover for that. So I'm going to mount this in here, so that I uh, don't have a hole in the front. So let's just screw that one in as well. There we go. That's in there nice and tight. So now we can uh, go ahead and hook up the power. Another couple of uh, SATA connectors. Let's see, okay, I have to go on like that. Of course, they're getting kind of in the way. But okay, there we go. Uh, I also realized I don't have any SATA cables other than those uh, ridiculously short ones. Okay, here we have a cable that, uh, well, we might be able to get that in. Might be just long enough. Let's see. We can uh, get that in. Right there. And, oh, we're lucky. Here we go. I've got at least one functional optical drive. I'll have to uh, see if I can find some longer cables. <laughs>